Welcome back to Gish with Tap Tap the Magnificent. I found out that Gish actually has a replay mode, so I'm just going to do post commentary for the video for the levels that I messed up the videos for. There are a couple of different problem problems that messed up the recordings, but this sort of works. Then only shows the times where I actually survived, so. That's nice. So I do think I got a game over somewhere in the next set of levels. I remember getting stuck on this several times, the stupid... There really should be little funnel divots. There he goes. But I hurt myself somehow. I think it took forever to figure out how this thing works, too. It's really not very hard. I actually think some of these were recorded by the game, and I didn't actually record them myself because I was just going back to get where I left off in the videos, so I think I actually do a little better when I'm not recording, except when I do something stupid like that. I remember I got stuck in one of the times, I got stuck over in that area to the left and I couldn't get back on the right side, so I fell into the lava. Which, as you can see, I like falling into at least towards lava. Complete. You know, I don't have bones. I'm made out of tar. Shredded, that's more like it. Yeah, this guy's kind of annoying. In the player made custom levels, they sort of like to put this boss all over the place like he's a normal enemy. Except you can't actually kill him like a normal enemy, so... And he hurts you for every, like, quarter of a second he touches you. So, of course, they sprinkle him around like he's a Goomba, and... You basically can't do anything to kill him. Yeah, what you have to do is drop something heavy on him to kill him. So I sort of... I'm trying to do, but... He didn't follow me for whatever reason. There he comes. <laughs> he deals constant damage to you while you're touching him, and he attacks you, so... If you drop on him, he does a lot of damage really quick. trying to trick him to get my blocks back because I was a moron and let them get stuck. I'm surprised I only took seven damage there. I guess maybe his claws do most of the damage. Squish. I actually died several times on that level. It's just a little transition thing, but I managed to get squished by the cannon a couple of times. And now we're in the Rapture, the weird culty evil type place. It's either the last world or the second to last world, I think. We're actually coming up onto a point where I either didn't get past originally or I don't remember what I did, so that will be interesting. Needless to say, I don't have replays of that, so I'll be playing that part live. I love the little wings the dog monsters have now. They're the little angels.
I think it's this level I get stuck on doing something really stupid. If I recorded that one, then this will probably be pretty long. But there's just a sort of not quite puzzle, but something that's not very intuitive coming up in a bit. I don't know why I didn't squish him, I tried to jump off of him. Yeah, this isn't my first take of this level. I'm just tossing the bricks over there to... There's a switch I need to press on the right side. dog monsters that will come and eat me the second I press the switch. Didn't even press on its own. How do you survive that long in spikes? Kill me faster than that. Giant boulder. I remember thinking that I'd found a secret and then a boulder falls out. It's not a very nice secret. It's raining dog monsters. Hallelujah. I guess they're supposed to be on the platforms, but they just sort of instantly run off and die. Another level down? Oh, this crane thing. I think I lost a couple lives to this, too, at some point. Oh, wait, it's this level. This is the level I got stuck on for a couple of minutes. It's this thing. You're supposed to go down the half pipe and jump way up, but the first I didn't get how you're supposed to do that. So I try lots of pretty stupid things, but I mean, I'm a ball of tar, so it doesn't really make much sense that I could even go down a half pipe and jump. So I try lots of weird things. I think I'm going slippery now, and that doesn't really work. Nope. What you actually have to do is go to the top, go heavy and slick, and then release heavy once you pass the bottom of the pipe. I think I tried to fling myself down while using the sticky now. I don't know why I thought that would work. video is going to stop about here, so I'll start again in the next one. Oh wait, no, I set it for 10 minutes. I set an auto timer and it was sort of a dumb idea, but I can't turn it off while the video is recording. So I'll disable that whenever the video cuts out, which should be right around 10 minutes, so soon. Can I make the jump before then? Please? I think this is the time I got it. Yep. Not really that hard at all. You just have to know what to do. Oh, and these jerks. <laughs> 